hi friends you're welcome to this tutorial in this video we are going to look at how to plot on autocad we are going to specifically look at how to plot on a layout paper space we are going to begin by setting up the page setup manager set up the right scale insert a predefined title blog from template then finally plot to pdf let's begin Um, it's important to know that when it comes to plotting, there are two different windows in which you can plot from. The first is the model space which we are in. Then the second is the layout space which is the paper space. But just before you do any plotting or printing, there are necessary setup which is required of you before you can do any plotting and here we have the layout and the layout also contains this viewport which has the drawing which you already have on the model space but the problem here is that we don't know the size of this paper sheet and we are going to set up the size of the paper sheet to suit our printing requirements and i want to print on a3 paper sheet what i'm going to do right now is to right click on the paper space here on the layout space here first of all to rename it so i can call this page one i can just spell it as pg01 then click outside so i have this as page one and subsequently we can keep adding up because each time you click on this plot sign you just added a new page so we can just keep renaming it as page two page three page four because you're going to be printing multiple pages at the end of your project so right here i'm just going to right click in order to delete this because i just want only one layout paper space there and to set it up you right click as well and go to page setup manager is going to come up with this page setup window but this is just one of the ways you can bring up this page setup manager another way you can bring it up is to click on this app menu then go to print page setup once you click on it it comes up with the page one on it since it's the only page available right now then the next is to go to modify if you click on new you are adding a new one to this so modify the first thing we are going to be setting up right now is the printer stroke plotter what you have to do if you have a physical printer in your office in your house already installed on your pc what you have to do is to click on this drop down and select the physical printer but for the sake of this tutorial we are going to select the dwg to pdf once you select that the next thing is to set up the paper size all right so here i'm going to click on this drop down to select the paper size here i'm going to select the iso full bleed a3 paper size so here we have it iso full bleed a3 420 by 297 millimeters and that's it so the next thing is the plot area now what to plot right here we have it as layout all right now there is something i want to call your attention to when it comes to plotting on layout you're going to notice that the feature called fit to paper and then another feature here called center the plot also grays out you will not be able to click on it but say for example i select extent you're going to notice fit to paper is going to be available and this center the plot if you also select uh, maybe display you're also going to see and each of them you select you're going to see the display on the preview right here but because we are on paper space we are going to put it on layout all right here is the plot offset you can set it up manually if you want but i'm just going to leave everything there the way it is then the next thing is the plot scale we have it as one is to 0.03 that 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 but then my unit is in millimeters if you did your drawing on inches you select inches so here i'm going to change the scale to my preferred scale which is one is to one then the next thing to set up is the plot style table 
so i click on this drop down you're going to see several options of that here you can click on none also we have acad.ctb which also print your output in a colored sheet for instance if i check the preview of the acad.ctb you're going to see what it looks like okay so here i'm just going to um change the option to extent and maybe fit to paper center the plot then if i go to preview it um just to show that the acad.ctb will print your output on a colored but in my opinion the best output for your printout is the grayscale and the monochrome so let's try out the grayscale and see what it looks like go to preview this is what it looks like with the grayscale it's all black and white but it looks gray but some of the text will gray out looking cool but then we are going to check out the monochrome as well which is complete black and white output so if i go to preview this is it so that looks better for me so we go back then if i go to layout back because we are setting up the paper space on our layout sheet so we go back there scale one is to one then we leave here as monochrome.ctb we have other options too all right which you can also check out like um this screening 100 percent dot ctb if you want to see what it looks like as well um you can also preview that and see it all right so monochrome is our choice here if you're going to be checking plot with plot style you're going to also check the display plus style the next thing here is the quality of your plotting here is normal we have other options but normal is better for me then plot options we have this plot transparency plot with plot style which also allows you to check this then plot paper space last hide paper space anyone that is not relevant to you there is no need checking then the drawing orientation we have the portrait we have the landscape you can also plot upside down so here we are going to leave it as landscape all right that's it for the page setup click on ok and then close this so i'm just going to click on this since we don't need it and delete it then the next thing is to insert my title block into this paper sheet i already have a predefined title block so i'm going to insert it here and to do that you just go to insert right here so i'm just going to look for my recent blocks so i'm just going to right click on it and pick insert then i drag it just making sure it's within the margins all right and i click here so i can now close this anywhere that is not within the margin we not actually print so i'm just going to be careful to check if everything is fitted in within the margin i can go to plot um, just to preview what it will look like so if you notice the external margin the external line of my title block is not showing on this part so what i'm going to do in that case i close this explode this and i select it and here is explode i click on explode then just go and do a cross window like this pick stretch and move it a bit inside just like that and i do the same on this other side i pick stretch move it a bit inside and if this other side is not also looking okay i pick stretch move it a bit inside if i go back to plot and then i preview so you here you can see that all the margins are fitted in then i go back close the information about the project stroke location should be handy on your title block then your notes your company logo and probably your client's company logo let me also bring up my company logo and place it here now the easiest way to do that is to just go to your menu bar click on inserts raster image references 
so i click on irec logo open just click on ok and then here there are other options but just click on ok also at this point you can click anywhere and scale it i can just pick move select move to centralize it you can also choose to insert the logo of your client on this particular portion on this portion so to do that i go back to insert and then click on raster references then i go to my desktop and then i look for where click on this okay let's say this is my client right now and i say open then i pick move and move it to that point this is it so next is to insert our model this model which we have and start placing them on sheets so we are going to either type viewport the easiest and most convenient way i have found to do that is to click on the layout here and then here we have rectangular you can click on it and select create a viewport just like that either a single viewport or different viewports in one sheet depending on your choice concerning this viewport once you double click inside you activate a model space if you click outside again you deactivate that so here what i actually want to do is to have this ground floor plan on one sheet and then on another the first floor plan instead of these two being in one plan so what i'm just going to do in that case is to double click on this viewport you activate the model space so right here you can do and make some changes whatever changes you make here is also reflected on the model space so what i'm going to do right now is to set up the scale of this to fit into the viewport because the model space is activated we have a scale feature right here which is also available for us to change our scale and now one is to 100 is looking smaller and what i'm also going to do is to reduce it to one is to 50 and one is to 50 if it's looking bigger than i want it is to try one is to 85 or i can decide to click on the custom to add the scale that i want maybe one is to 60 will solve it for us so i'm just going to go back and customize this add one is to 60 click on ok and it updates click on ok again then i come here and change it one is to 60 all right so and all i just have to do now is to click outside the box and everything will be fine or but if in the case of working on the same page and i have done this setup and need to do other things here the best thing to do is to lock this view just so i don't make a mistake because whatever you do without knowing is going to adjust the scale then lock the view so that when you zoom and do all of those things you will not change the scale so this is it for this sheet now we are going to create another sheet where we can place the first floor plan to do that we are going to right click on this first page and we have several options here right now and then go to the option of move or copy instead of creating new page setup inserting new block from templates so the shortest way to do this right now click on move or copy so here we have this first page and we can check this create a copy and say okay so we've created a new copy page 01 in bracket we have two but we can right click and rename it so this one i call it page 02 and i click outside click on the page 2 which is this what we are going to do right now is to unlock the view so i double click inside and then i unlock this then i zoom and place this at the center and then i select the right scale one is to 60 then i can use spam to centralize it uh, and then i lock it and double click outside so i have this there as the first floor 
and then I have this as the ground floor. So the same approach goes to every other view you want to place on sheets. Then the next thing we are going to do right now is to go to print and set up our printing page as well. And then we go ahead and print. So to do that, here is plot sign on the quick access toolbar. You click on it and then continue to plot the single sheets. This is the window for our printing then the next place where you can find this is to go to the app menu as well and then you go to print and go to plot continue to plot a single sheet then the first thing we are going to set up here is page we want to print here you will notice that all of the settings we did during the paper space setup will appear on this place but then it has additional setting like this box here where it says save changes to layout check that and all of these ones remain intact here we are printing on layout as well and then the monochrome the quality is normal so we've done these settings already but they just but they just appeared on the plot window so what we are going to do right now is to go ahead and print so let's preview what we are printing so if you look at it and it's okay by you you can just go ahead and plot it however let's go ahead and export it to pdf so and i'm going to say okay and then it's going to be on the desktop and the name is um let's call it pgg01 so i'm just going to save and close this let's open the pdf and check out the output so this is it and it's not looking bad with this we've come to the end of this tutorial subscribe to this channel for more thanks for watching see you in the next video